Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install the items. Uh, make sure you check the description if you want to skip ahead in the video. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the armor. I already went through that, but let's go through it again because, yeah. Uh, so every item has an Expresso tab. Um, and if then they have instructions. Uh, so you just have to follow this, uh, whatever. So just fill in the Expresso. Uh, we'll do this one. Uh, slowly so you can get an understanding so what you need to do first is disable the layers so this has to be on and this has to be off like so and if you have other rigs in in the viewport you can see these layers just turn this off so it won't be seen when you're searching items uh, so as you can see it's it's not there so now if I enable it it's there so let's let's delete that now okay um, so Add-ons, add-ons, get the add-ons, automate, get automate, customization, customization, and okay, so now you get, you're getting getting uh, the idea of it, so basically you just search whatever you've seen, and you just drag it, drag it here, drag it on here, not here, here, so C dot B, uh, I won't fast forward this one because just to give you a good understanding. Uh, fit mesh and okay, the, these two last layers are layers. So if you don't put these two, it won't uh, connect to the layers. So if you don't want the layers, just delete it. And then you don't put in the layers. Um, and yeah, okay. So we got the armor installed. Uh, well, we use it here for the armor installed. So, so now all we have to do is parent it. <clears throat> So we need to parent it into the meshes. It tells you that uh, you have to parent it. Yeah. See, so it says green now. So this is the green now. So parent it in here. Body to body. Arm right to arm right. Arm left to arm left. Leg right and leg left. And the head goes into the add-ons here. Add-ons. Good. Uh, so now everything's working. Armor, if you go into the blue thing, everything's working. And if you like, you can use, you see, now even the layers, it put the textures in the layers, everything's working fine. Okay, something I need to point out, if you're using LQ animation or animation LQ, there might be some missing, missing nodes, or whatever you want to call it. So let me show you what I mean. So if we load the armor and we grab in the customization, since some stuff is removed, we can see it says unknown, oh, un undefined. So it won't work, uh, the, the expresso won't work unless you delete it. So double click and just delete them like that. And then it should work as normal. Um, okay, next thing is the beard. Um, so let's do that. So add-ons. Speed up. Well, I'll just speed up these parts now because you now know what I'm doing. Okay, that's done. So now we need to just grab the beard into the head add ons. Like so, and we're done. Okay, that's the beard. Okay, next thing is the uh, blood splash. So basically what this is, is it's a um, blood splash. <laughs> and you can change wherever, what time you want it to go, the duration, how, much, how, how long you want it to be going. You can turn off the emitter, you can disable it, you can uh, show, you can hide objects, you can put deformations. So basically when you hit set collider to deform a little, and yeah, both rate everything else is straightforward. Okay, next thing is the bow. Let's do the bow. It's same thing, let's speed it up. Okay, now all we have to do is grab it into the left, the left arm. And now it should be working. Next thing is realistic bow. So this one should disappear when you add it because um, let me show you in a 
few seconds. Okay, so it disappeared. So when we add it, now let's just quickly add it. Uh, so, so to enable it, you need to go into items, item, and then for realistic. Okay, the next thing we have the cape. So let's just quickly add the add the stuff here. Add ons, mesh, and main. Okay, and okay. So cape goes to even I don't remember it. P dot mesh. Okay, so there. Collider goes to body, and then controller goes to the the fourth, this one, fourth back. Okay, and that's the cape. Can delete this one, and the cape should be working. The so next thing is the ears. Ears will be easy. Uh, oh, and keep in mind the uh, it automatically adds to the like it automatically goes to its position. You would have noticed that already. Um, because of the protection constraint on it. And okay, so that should be working now. Next thing is the glasses. Uh, okay, this one's straightforward. I won't go through Okay, so the next thing we have here is the hair. So we can grab any texture you like, uh, whatever texture. And also you can customize it to whatever you like. So. Um, what we would do here is we would just delete whatever we don't want. Okay, so as you can see, when I delete it, uh, it automatically extrudes the, the hair. Uh, and I would suggest you optimize it. So right, uh, go into edges, right click, optimize. And then I want to add a quick little thing here. And so if you want to change the texture, you need to off it and back it back on. Oh, back, it back on. Okay, so it extruded that. So now let's add it to. Uh, oh, you can even um, you can even do something like this. You can customize it even more. And yeah, so you need to make sure you set this at 91 when you're extruding angles. So it extrudes like that. Okay, so now let's add it to the mesh. It's very easy, actually. It's a little different compared to the other other ones, but let's do. It. Okay, now the user data is set. It's just we need to now just grab this into the controllers head and head. Uh, oh no, head two and head two and here, and we can delete uh, the original hair. But make sure you so select the original hair. Make sure you select all the polygons and delete it. You need to uh, don't delete the object like that. You need to delete the polygons. Otherwise, it'll mess up the expressor. Uh, or you can go into expressor and change uh, and delete it from the expressor. But whatever. So now, as you can see, the hair is bound and it's moving. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing is hair piece. This one is also straightforward. You just grab it onto the hair head add-ons. So I'm not going to go through that. Hat. Uh, I'm too lazy to make this again. So let's grab the bulls. We need to put the bulls here. And this one. Let me read this. Parent to head. Oh, parent to head. So this one. And then bull two, parent to head two. And then we need to grab, so this needs to be re replaced by head HQ. So grab that in there and delete it. Uh, if you know how bulls work, and uh, this won't be a problem. So next, this has to be grabbed in here and then delete that. And then the hat needs to go into the keep in hat now. Oh, okay. And this needs to go into add-ons. So. Add-ons. Okay, so now it should be working. Let's see. Um, it kind of like goes. It doesn't. You can see what it's doing. The bull. It adds quite a bit of lag, I think. Uh, but whatever. 
that's basically the hat. Next thing is hair brown eyes, it's straightforward as well. I'll do the same thing, follow the instructions. Next thing is item effects. Um, so I'll do this one and the items because it's epic. <laughs> um, Okay, so now this one has to go into the add-ons on the right arm. Like so. And now if you hit play, it should have the electric effects for the items. Uh, I'm not going to go through items actually. Because um, it's the same, same thing, just grab it onto the... Fill out the expressor and then grab it onto the arm. Okay, so next thing is the jacket. Uh, I actually don't... I actually like it a little. <laughs> um, you can, it's mostly for, um, I would say, it doesn't go through the mesh or anything, or it doesn't glitch out. It's just, it's not, it doesn't look so clothy. But I'll, I'll, I might use it. So now we grab all the controllers and we put it in here. So P top goes to jacket uh, back to four. This stays in there. And this goes here, I'm right there, and I'm left here. Oh, it's to be reloaded. Okay, and then this stuff goes all into here. Like so, arm left to arm left, arm right to arm right, and oh, body, body stays out like that. And yeah, so now it's installed. You can change the textures um, in here. A jacket so what I like is uh, no no it's not how you spell it okay this one so pretty good okay let's hit play as you can see it's moving but that's just a random effect and then it, it sort of moves like this you can't change the dynamics it's actually user data that's controlling it um, so it doesn't, yeah, it, it works quite well. If you see the expressor to it, it's quite incredible. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know how I managed to come up with this thing. Um, it's a new, t I basically created plot dynamics, my own type of plot dynamics. So what you would do normally is like for a picture, you would do something like this. Like, I, I use it, yeah, like, it's quite nice, yeah. Okay, next thing is the minor helmet. I would say that's quite straightforward as well, so I'm not going to go through that. Just grab it to the head. Next thing is noses. Uh, noses, you need to just grab it on the same thing. Maybe you need to reposition some, I don't know. Ponytail, straightforward. Shield, straightforward, same thing as the bow. Left arm, shield is the left arm. Special sword, same thing as uh, items and torch. So the torch, I'm in love with the torch. Um, so basically the torch is like any Minecraft torch. You can move it around, and rotate it, and it just looks awesome. And you have all this stuff here, so frame. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it's really nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I can off the object so it shows in the render only. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or if I missed out something, let me know. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and bye.